Welcome to another video from MorphLab. Today we are going to talk about an interesting geometry problem called the moving sofa. We want to find the shape of the largest sofa, that is by area, that can be turned around the corner like the one shown here. Let's assume that the width of the corridor is one meter or one unit, and we want to find the area of the largest sofa that can turn around the corner. The first obvious choice is a round sofa with diameter equal to one. But can we do better than that? How about a square sofa with side length of one? Okay. The square sofa has obviously a larger area than the round sofa, so we are on the right track. Can we do better than the square sofa now? If you notice, a semicircle sofa can also do the job. This sofa has even a larger area than the square sofa, and as we can see, it rotates around the corner. Great. Now let's see if we can make it bigger by adding a square in the middle of it. Well, this one has obviously a larger area, but can it rotate the corner? Let's see. Okay, it seems we are stuck. As you can see, if you try to rotate this sofa, the sharp corner at the bottom will penetrate and damage the sofa. But maybe we can remove a portion from the bottom in a way that makes it possible to rotate. Something like this. And maybe we can even make it larger by stretching it more in the middle. Now let's see what happens if we try to rotate this so far around the corner. Well, it seems we haven't removed enough material from the bottom to make it possible to rotate. Let's try again, and this time we try to remove more material from the sofa. And now we try to see if it works. It seems it can work. So we need to now find the exact shape of that curve at the bottom for removing enough material from the sofa to make it possible to rotate. Let's see first what is happening here in more detail. Here we have that curve which is touching the tip of the corner at point B and ideally we want it to remain in touch with that corner while the sofa rotates. Now let's find the shape of this curve. Let's connect points A and C. Here we have a right angle triangle. Now let's draw this line AC horizontally to make it easier to see what is happening here. All along the rotation, we have a 90 degree angle facing this segment AC, like this, then like this, then like this and so on. And that means we are dealing with a circle with diameter AC because an angle facing the diameter of a circle is always 90 degrees. So we need to carve a semicircle shape from the bottom of the sofa to make it possible to rotate the corner. But remember, we cannot have a very long midsection because then if you remove a semicircle out of the sofa, it breaks into two pieces, which is not what we want. So here, A, or radius of that portion, should be less than one. Now, if this is the shape we want, and we want to maximize this area, the first step is to write the area in terms of the parameter A. Then we take the derivative of this function with respect to A and make it equal to zero, which gives us a equal to 2 over pi, or 0 0.6366. We put back this value into the function and gives us the maximum area of 2.2074.
Now remember, this doesn't mean we have found the absolute largest so far. It just shows that we have reached 2.2074 and the largest so far is at least this large. In 1992, Gerber improved this solution by using 18 carefully adjusted curves and reached a higher area of 2.2195. It's very similar to the shape we have found here, but the area is a bit larger. Still, we don't know if this is the absolute largest so far that can rotate the corner. Nobody knows what is the largest one yet. Maybe you can give it a try. Thanks for watching and join us next time for another interesting topic.